Eighth grade, unit one, lesson nine, moves in parallel. Number one, A, draw parallel lines A, B, and C, D. B, pick any point E, rotate A, B, 90 degrees clockwise around E. C. Rotate CD 90 degrees clockwise around E. D. What do you notice? I notice that the new lines are still parallel after the rotation. Number 2. Use the diagram to find the measures of each angle. Explain your reasoning. A. What is the measure of angle A, B, C? I've highlighted angle A, B, C in blue and I've highlighted 50 degrees in red. I know that vertical angles or opposite angles share the same vertex and their angle measures are equal. So opposite 50 degrees will be another angle of 50 degrees. Angle EBC will total 180 degrees, and I know that angle ABE is 50 degrees, so the remainder is 130 degrees. Angle ABC measures 130 degrees. B. What is the measure of angle EBD? Well, you can see angle EBD in green. And again, 130 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 180 degrees. So angle EBD measures 130 degrees. C. What is the measure for angle ABE? Highlighted in a reddish color, Angle ABE is 50 degrees. Again, 50 degrees plus 130 degrees equals 180 degrees. The measure of angle ABE is 50 degrees. Here's another look at 180 degrees. This angle measures 90 degrees, so another 90 degree angle would total 180 degrees. 90 degrees plus 45 degrees plus another 45 degrees also equals 180 degrees. I used that same strategy here on problem number 2 when they gave me one angle of 50 degrees. I knew that 180 degrees minus 50 degrees equaled 130 degrees and that's how I found the measure for that larger angle, 130 degrees. Number 3. Points P and Q are plotted on a line. A. Find a point R so that a 180 degree rotation with center R sends P to Q and Q to P. The middle point will be the location for R. It's as if it's the axle and you spin a propeller. Q would go where P is and P would go where Q is. B. Is there more than one point R that works for part A? No, the midpoint is the only point that will work. Number four. In the picture, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is an image of triangle ABC after a rotation. The center of rotation is D. A. What is the length of side B prime, C prime? Explain how you know. The length of side B prime and C prime will be the same as the length of side B, C. I know that their lengths are the same because side B prime, C prime are the corresponding angles to side B, C. B. What is the measure of angle B? Explain how you know. 
The measure of angle B is 52 degrees, and I know that because rotations maintain the same angle measures, and angle B and B prime correspond to each other. C. What is the measure of angle C? Explain how you know. The measure of angle C is 50 degrees, and I know this because rotations maintain the same angle measures, and angle C and C prime correspond to each other in this rotation. Number five, the point negative four and one is rotated 180 degrees counterclockwise using center zero zero. What are the coordinates of the image? A key piece of information is the 180 degree counterclockwise rotation using center zero zero and the point negative four positive one. The center point would be zero zero which is where the origin is right in the middle where these two axes intersect. When you rotate the point negative four positive one 180 degrees it ends up at positive four negative one. So the answer would be D.